When you talk about compact crossovers, napakaraming choice sa Pilipinas. You have favored favorites such as the Toyota RAV4, the Nissan X-Trail, and of course, the Honda CR-V. Marami din tayong choices from our Chinese market. Meron tayong Gili Ascara, pati yung Cherry Tigo 7. Parehas ni review rin ni Stanley. Ito, isama mo na rin pati yung Ford Territory na ni-review natin the last time. Ngayon, kung sa tingin mong sapat na yun, hindi pa yun lahat yun kasi meron ka pang Mazda CX-5, meron kang Subaru Forester, at meron ka rin MG RX-5. So, napakarami talaga. So kung gusto mo na medyo naiiba, at when I say naiiba, naiiba talaga, you can go for this. This is the 2020 Jeep Compass. Now the question that remains is, does this have what it takes to be the top choice in the compact crossover market? Is it a step to the right direction? Join me today as we get to know the 2020 Jeep Compass. My name is Ref Moncel, this is PhilCochi.com, the number one car portal in the Philippines. Starting with the front of the Jeep Compass, makikita nyo that it has the classic 7-slot grille that's apparent in all the Jeep models. Kung ang labanan naman ngayon sa market ay palakihan at pasportier ng grille, ito naman stayed true to its heritage and history. For light system naman, meron tayong halogen headlights, LED guidelines, DRLs, tas meron din tayong halogen fog lamps. Now, one thing that's unique about the Jeep Compass is meron siyang steering-sensitive assist light system. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Sa gabi, kapag kakaliwa ka, there's a light that actually guides you into the side or space that you're going to. So sabihin natin madilim at kumanang ka, this light right here will actually shine whatever is there to guide you into maybe a parking lot or a small eskinita. So at least yung part na yun is unique about the Jeep Compass. The engine of the Compass is powered by a 1.4 Fiat source turbocharged gasoline engine that makes 162 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. It is also made into a front wheel drive transmission, and aside from that, meron tayong 7 speed dual clutch automatic transmission. For fuel economy, naman, we are getting 9.6 kilometers per liter with a mixture of city and the highway. So, for a gasoline engine with this size, hindi na rin masama yun. For the wheel and tire setup of the Jeep Compass, we have 22560R17s fitted with Yokohama tires and of course, a wheel design na very very simple lang pero elegant yung dating. It really gives homage to the wheel design of Jeep and lahat naman sila medyo ganito yung itsura and it really fits well with the body signing. The side of the Compass is simple but unique in design and it remains true to the overall feel or appearance that Jeep is trying to give us with this car. Let's start with the side mirrors where we have signal lights. It's not automatic folding and we do not have eye key or smart key function but I think the design of it kind of makes up for that. We have green glass and this green glass actually makes it harder for heat to come into the car so this is one benefit. Lalo na kung ayaw mong maglagay ng tin. The Compass has a fairly high ground clearance at 208mm so pwede mo siyang isugod sa baha just in case of emergencies. Pero wag mo namang sanayin to. Moving on over to the D-pillar, medyo kung napansin nyo meron siyang shark-like fin-shaped design that's rather unique. Tapos meron din tayong wheel arches here and also body cladding that moves on over to the side of the Jeep Compass to give it a more rugged or off-road look that really um, brings out the Jeep in the design. The rear is our absolute favorite part of the car and we think that it makes up for a lot of the design flaws in the Compass. If you guys can see, we have LED tail lamps. Of course, we have a spoiler slash third brake light here. We also have wipers and also a rear view camera. We don't really have parking sensors but the camera is really enough to guide you when you're backing up. Down here, we also have rear reflectors and a dual pipe exhaust which is rather beautiful. For the trunk layout, you can see that it actually can hold a lot of space. We were able to shop for one month's worth of groceries and we didn't have a problem when it comes to fitting this car with all of those things. You can also fold down the rear back seats if you need more space. We don't have exact number for how much this can hold. But as you guys can see, it really wouldn't have a problem into holding all of these things. We also have trunk cover just to kind of protect your valuables from prying eyes. Interior of the Jeep Compass. Actually, maluwag siya, pero yun naman kasi ang benefit talaga ng compact crossover. Hindi siya malaki tingnan sa labas, pero kapag nasa loob ka, 
it's well enough na pwede mong i-stretch out yung legs mo nang hindi siya mahihirapan. Ito namang interior ni Jeep Compass is a mixture of hard plastic and soft leather-like materials. For example, itong dashboard natin, medyo malambot tong area na to sa sides. Pero pagpunta mo dito sa gitna, suddenly medyo nagiging matigas siya. This type of pattern actually extends over the whole car na medyo may half-half material siya. For example, itong upuan na to, medyo faux leather siya, pero yung gitna niya is fabric. Itong sa window controls, kapag hinawakan mo siya, it actually feels as if it's leather. Pero kapag dito sa baba, kapag medyo kinatok mo siya, lalabas siya as plastic. So, ganun yung design na ginawa nila dito sa Jeep Compass, but it doesn't take away the elegance of the Jeep brand. Ito namang steering wheel is one of our most favorite parts of the car because uh, yung pagka three-spoke niya in big-sized horn button, uh, really makes you feel as if you're driving a car that's really meant for long road trips. What's really nice about this car, na dito ko lang rin nakita, is meron siyang hidden volume and neck track, previous track buttons sa likod ng steering wheel. Hindi sa harap ha, pero sa likod. So it's something you can do while driving na hindi madidisrupt masyado yung driving experience mo because you can simply go through and pause your tracks and change your volume of course. Dito naman sa main steering wheel, meron tayong headset and calling controls. You can pick up a call, decline a call, tapos meron din tayong voice assist mechanism. In terms of infotainment naman, meron tayong 7-inch touchscreen head unit that also has Apple CarPlay. Medyo weird nga lang kasi yung Apple CarPlay natin is hindi siya nakasagad sa buong screen. So it's probably around maybe 4 to 5 inches lang. Pero at least gumagana siya. Moving on down here, meron tayong aircon controls. Of course, yung volume controls natin and such. Mas meron tayong USB port for your Apple CarPlay and of course, a 12-volt cigarette lighter. Going down naman, meron tayong transmission that's fairly simple. It has park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Tapos meron tayong tiptronic plus and minus for much enjoyment in the highway. Wala tayong handbrake lever pero modern na siya because it actually comes with an electronic handbrake system. Meron din tayong mga traction controls and two cup holders here and then two cup holders on the sides. Siyempre, automatic na rin yung locks and automatic na rin yung windows natin. One of my favorite features in this car is the very huge sunroof that actually extends all the way to the very back and automatic din siya. So kahit nasa Tagaytay ka o kaya nasa La Union ka, kapag gusto mong ma-feel yung sun o kaya ma-feel mo yung lamig ng mountains, kayang-kaya mo sa Jeep Compass. As for center console naman, you can actually move it forwards and backwards para may adjustability siya based on ano yung position ng upuan mo. O nga pala, one thing I forgot to mention, hindi automatic yung seats natin so manually controlled pa rin siya, although minor detail lang naman yun. Meron din pala tayong USB port dito para makapag-charge yung mga nasa likod mo. And one thing that's actually unfortunate about the Jeep Compass is wala tayong cruise control. If there's anything that's a bit lacking in this car, it's the fact na wala siyang cruise control in this variant. Actually, kung makikita nyo dito, it actually had slots for where it would usually be, pero mukhang tinanggal nila and offered it for the higher variant instead. Although I think kahit for a mid-variant or low-variant Jeep, I think it should still have it because after all, it's still an American car that's meant to go far places. So sana sinama lang nila yun. Dito naman sa rear seats ng Jeep Compass, malawak din ang space dyan and really perfectly fit for two passengers. Kung tatlo naman kayo, komportable pa rin. Pero medyo may pagka-tiis-tiis lang ng onte pero pwedeng-pwede pa rin. Meron tayong armrest dito sa gitna na medyo malaki siya. It's not like any other armrest na medyo makitid at pahaba. Ito actually is wider. So talagang komportable siya para ilagay mo yung kamay mo. Meron din tayong two cup holders here and of course, two cup holders on opposite sides. So for me naman, okay naman dito and meron din tayong two aircon vents para talagang nalalamigan ka up to the very back of the car. A lot of cars kasi yung aircon vents nila sa harap lang and may mga times na medyo mainit pagdating sa likod pero this one actually makes up for that. As for the sunroof naman, abot siya hanggang dito so talagang full-on sunroof siya na napakaganda sa gabi, I'm very sure. And let's say yes, medyo may pagkainit siya kapag nakabukas siya pero kapag umaandar ka naman and hindi ka naman masyadong babad sa araw, then you should be okay. So here we are driving the Jeep Compass and if anything, ang mga napansin ko during my first drives with it is med medyo jerky yung acceleration niya. Hindi mo makapa kung kailan siya mag-shift, mag-upshift or mag-downshift. So medyo kailangan mong pakiramdaman itong driving system ni Jeep Compass. Kanina rin, nung reverse ako, merong mga one to half second to one second delay in reversing but I think it's because of the dual clutch transmission. So I guess ganun lang talaga. It's something that we're not used to. In terms of steering and suspension naman, hindi siya ganun kagaan pero hindi, siya, hindi rin siya ganun kabigat. 
Pero I think that's part of why it's structurally tough to have a jeep kasi nga protektado ka sa lahat ng instances. Ito namang low gear niya, may pagka-torky yung hila nitong Jeep Compass and I think pwede mo rin siyang gamitin sa mga off-road areas kapag kailanganin mo. One thing that's also very nice about this car is the noise insulation kasi wala ka talaga marinig sa labas. So you can really thank the Jeep quality or the American quality in terms of creating cars na ganito siyang katahimik. What's nice about this car is kahit sturdy na sturdy and very tough yung suspension niya, kapag dumaan ka sa humps, hindi mo mafe-feel yung kalampag niya, it really wouldn't transfer to the overall driving feeling of the one driving the car. In terms of turning radius naman, medyo malaki rin yung scope niya and it's very very tight. So hindi mo na kailangan magmaniobra o kaya mag, kumbaga, 3 or 4 point turns because it can do it as long as bibuelo ka na maayos. So, sanayin lang talaga to drive this car. Like ngayon, we are in the low revs. And umaabot tayo ng mga 2K RPM without the car shifting. So, hindi mo talaga siya makakapa. So, it really takes a while to get to know this car. Tapos, meron din siyang start-stop system. For example, now we are parked. So, yung RPM natin is actually down to zero. So, we are saving a lot more on gas consumption. So, I think it's also a really nice feature. If anything, yan ang, that's one of the most modern things that I've actually seen in this car. So yun nga, while driving this car, don't expect too much of a sporty drive with it. But it's definitely something that you can rely on and comfortable na rin siya in the long drives. As for brakes naman, very tough and very hard hitting yung brakes niya. Nakapag tinamaan mo, talagang pepreno yung kotse. So that's also something that you have to adjust in. Kanina, naninibago pa ako dun eh. So now for aesthetics, syempre jeep to eh. At talagang naiiba yung itsura niya. Kapag nagmamaneho ka nito sa streets of Metro Manila, talagang lilingunin ka. Pero sana nga lang nagsama sila ng LED headlights. Ito kasi halogen lang yung kasama. So for that, we are giving the Jeep Compass a 4 out of 5. So for performance, hindi naman underpowered itong Jeep Compass. Pero medyo may mga slight delays siya in terms of transmission when it comes to upshifting and downshifting. Napansin ko rin na kapag nag-reverse ka, meron tayong one and one half second delay before mag-engage yung transmission. So, for the most part, okay naman na siya. So, for performance, we are giving it a 3 out of 5. So, for practicality, maluwang siya at maraming spaces na pwede mong paglagyan ng gamit. Pwede rin magkasya ng baggage sa likod at perfect kung meron kang small family of 2 to 3 children. So, for practicality, we are giving the Jeep Compass a 4 out of 5. So for value for money, uh, medyo hindi rin naman ka murahan itong Jeep Compass natin. And for the price it's being offered at, medyo may hahanapin ka pa in terms of luxurious and other features such as cruise control. So for value for money, we are awarding the Jeep Compass a 3 out of 5. So for our Phil Koche score, Poging pogi naman na siya because it's a Jeep and it's a car that's well respected in the industry and talagang alam siya ng kahit sinong tao. But for the price it's being offered at at 1.8 million, medyo may mga hahanapin ka pa in terms of features. Pero kung naghahanap ka lang naman ng coaching pogi, kasha ang small family mo, and of course a car that would fit all of your baggages in a long road trip, aba, pwedeng pwede na rin siya. So for our Phil Koche score, we are giving the Jeep Compass a 3.5 out of 5. So in conclusion, at 1,850,000 pesos, the Jeep Compass is definitely on the higher price or higher end of the spectrum. Pero hindi ka naman kasi bibili nito kasi pinaka-affordable siya o pinaka-cheap siya. Most often than not, you will buy this because of the heritage and history that the Jeep brand has. And honestly, we can't really blame you for that. My name is Jeff Mangsil and thank you for joining us in this full review of the 2020 Jeep Compass. Please like and subscribe to get the latest news and updates from philcoche.com, the number one car portal in the Philippines. And guys, 125,000 na tayo ngayon. Onting onti na lang, magto 200,000 na tayo. Tulungan nyo naman kami at meron kaming pag-giveaway sa inyo kung nakarating kami doon. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Phil Coche, the country's number one online car portal.